the MD North East Development Commission, the GMD and NPC, the CDS, service chiefs and inspector general of police, senior government officials, distinguishing parties, guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am very happy to be here in Brno State once again. I consider my degree in Brno State to be my home since this is the place where I cut my administrative and political teeth when I first arrived here as military governor 46 years ago. <laughs> While I'm happy to return home, I'm not happy that this visit is not a normal peacetime home coming. I'm here today, first and foremost, to appraise the security situation in Brno State and the Northeast region in order to move full speed ahead and conclude the work of restoring permanent peace to the region. The attacks launched by cowardly terrorists against military and civilian targets last month and in previous months were appointed to us that the work of defeating insurgency and terrorism and of restoring permanent peace to this region is not yet over. We will not rest until all the millions of internally displaced persons are able to return and resettle in their homes and rebuild their shattered lives. It is evidence of our administration that the military service chiefs that were appointed this year all either served a theater commanders here who were part of the command operations at one time or another. All of them are therefore personally familiar with the challenge of insurgency. I fully expect them to bring this wealth of personal experience to bear as we move to end this scrooge once and for all. The recent successes that the military recorded over the insurgents and terrorists at Dikwa, Damboa, and Goza were indicators that we are consolidating on the previous gains. These notable successes were conducts of careful planning, sustained combat readiness, infusion of new equipment and other war material, as well as quality military leadership. No doubt these successes owe a lot to the role played by volunteers of the civilian GTF, hunters and vigilantes. These good people include women who are making huge sacrifices and patriotic contributions to our peace restoration efforts. Many of our servicemen and women, as well as these youthful volunteers, have paid the supreme price in this fight to rid our communities and our country of terrorism and insurgency. We thank them very much for their gallantry and their sacrifices. We assure their loved ones that this sacrifice will not be in vain. I must also acknowledge the very important role and sacrifices made by parents, guardians, and other loved ones among people of Borno State, the Northeast region, and the country as a whole, who support their sons, daughters, husbands, brothers, and sisters in going to battlefields to defend Nigeria's sovereignty, territorial integrity, and its peace. I thank and commend them for their resilience and assure them success is in sight.